You do this for the money, I do this for my family I got an ocean view, my windows panoramic Can't get too close to you, one day I'll have to choose I had to make a move, in my head I played it through You do this for the money, I do this for my family I got an ocean view, my windows panoramic Can't get too close to you, one day I'll have to choose I had to make a move, in my head I played it through Can't get too comfortable, cause they gon' switch up They nice was on the road, homie he gon' keep Okay, you guys. We're on the Natchez Trace. I'm trying to get myself situated I'm on the Natchez Trace. I'm gonna go down a little bit, then I'm gonna put you on 552. No, 553. Put you on five fit, Highway 553. This is the famous Natchez Trace. Show you guys a glimpse of the Natchez Trace. Down here, man, look. <laughs> Back in the day, this whole trace used to be packed. Like on a day like today, man. On a Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, holidays. You talking about people. On this side over here and this side over here, all up and down the trace. Cars, bikes, motorcycles, people everywhere, black, white, Picnicking, playing frisbee, two-hand touch football, softball, man, you name it. This was the hangout spot right here on this Natchez Trace. They kept the grass cut. See like those dead tree limbs right there? That's from the ice storm we had back in February. They never got that up. There's a lot of uh, debris still out here. They still let the, uh, they don't keep it up like they used to. It's growed up a little bit. They used to keep the uh, trees cut back, the grass cut. Like that debris right there, it would never been there. Man, this was the hangout spot back in the day. But right now, you know, this was uh this used to be an in Indian trail, which read see I'm um, going to 550 Highway 553. That trail read from Natchez, Mississippi all the way to I think Memphis, Tennessee. Um they had lodging, they had uh, places where you can purchase food all kind of stuff was out here on this trace because people the Indians used to travel this trace and this was one of one of their main sources and right if I keep straight if I keep straight right there it would take me to the Emerald Mound one of the largest Emerald Mounds in the United States the Indian burial site now I'm on Highway 553. Just taking you guys on a little tour on Highway 553. Pretty nice little highway. Just got to be careful. A lot of deer. A lot of deer. Man, you have deer coming out the woodwork. Deer just jump up right there jump out in front of you you don't have time to react so this is still 550 highway 553 the Natchez Trace area is still a, a tourist scenic route 
lots of motorcycles, RVs, tourists travel this year round just to see different sites just to say that they came on the Natchez Trace I, I, would, I would suppose that um, people all overseas have heard about the Natchez Trace and the Natchez Trace it is roughly about five or six miles uh, north of Natchez off of Highway 61 61 North and if you don't know where Natchez is it's in Mississippi guys Natchez Mississippi this is a wonderful place to live this area out here Lots of open land, fresh air, no smog, no big industries polluting the air, lots of farmland, open space. If you like your open space, if you want to raise farm animals, this is the place. This is the place. You can have your little ponds. You can have your big houses. This is the place. This is a pretty good highway. Got a few curves in it. It's, uh, it's well maintained. It's a two-lane highway. It's not heavily traveled. But you do have to be careful. Some people still like to fly. It's a pretty good little road though nice for motorcycles because of the trees and the overhang of the trees it's um, nice and pleasant it's cool got a motorcycle behind me Look like the same guy that I met. Thought it was my son. Don't really know. I don't know if he's trying to catch up with me. First pull over spot I'm gonna pull over and see if it is in fact my son on his high booster. Got a big buzzard in the road. Speed limit is 55 you guys. Um, I, I I sometimes take this road pretty pretty aggressively. Most of the time I take my time, but sometimes, you know, you get a wild hair up your butt. <laughs> you want to take it aggressively. You don't too much have to worry about the deer in the daytime, like this part of the day, this time of the day. But early in the morning, late in the evening, you better watch out.
better watch out. Hey, how's it doing? It's all right. Okay. I thought that was you. I wasn't sure. Huh? I said I thought that was you. I wasn't sure. Where you been? Went to Natchez. Went down and by the port. Turned around, came back. Went to Stanford. Went back down 33. Went through Fed. Ran through here. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way down. Then hit, uh, come back on the trace, go across the bridge, and then go home. Just give me another video in, so you could be on this video. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get back on it. All right. All right. Yeah, you guys, that is my son. Right him. His 2009 Hayabusa. Guess he decided he want to ride with the old man. Speaking of that, let me speak on terms of all. Uh, the blessing you know the blessing is it's so good to be have the blessing from God on your life for you to be blessed and your children to be blessed and it's just it's it's it's, it's so grateful to receive the blessing My two sons have good jobs. They haven't been in trouble. There are no trouble kids. They, uh, both of them have their own homes. They are obedient. And my son back there He is the middle child, 34 years old. Unfortunately, my, my daughter passed away earlier this year, back in April. She passed away from health issues. She was the oldest, she would have been, but she was 41. She was 41. Then my baby boy, he's 22. Has his own home. Has a uh, one year old and another child on the way. Has a great job. doing good for themselves my baby boy he plays the uh, drums for the church plays the piano computer whiz my son back there he works on his own bike he uh, helped me work on mine Works on his own vehicles. Helps me work on mine. So it's good to be blessed and have the blessing from God 
on your life. In order to do that, you have to be obedient to God's word. You can't just live your life the way you want to live it and think that everything is going to be okay. If you live life the way God has planned it for you, everything will be all right. But if you live life the way you plan it for you, then you're going to have some problems in life that you're not going to want to deal with. And yeah, everyone has problems. Everyone has situations. No matter how faithful you are to God. But things in life would be a whole lot sweeter if you were to abide by his word.